In this video, we're going to discuss a jointer. The main purpose of a jointer is for flattening surfaces. While a jointer is not necessary for a workshop, it certainly makes a carpenter's job much easier. The basic components of a jointer include an infeed table, which is adjustable up and down, a cutter assembly, an outfeed table, which also has adjustable height, a chip exhaust, a fence that can be adjusted for different bevels, and can also be slid forward and backwards. Jointers typically either have straight blade cutter heads or spiral cutter heads as seen here. This particular model has 40 indexable carbide cutters. One advantage of this type of cutters, when they become dull, you can loosen the screws and rotate the cutters 90 degrees for a fresh, sharp edge. The way a jointer operates is the infeed table is lower than the outfeed table, and you want to adjust the outfeed table to be the same height as the cutter blades. Depending on personal preference, you can adjust the infeed table to take off as much material as you want. In this example, I have my infeed table set at 1 32nd of an inch, which means every time a board passes through, the cutters are going to remove 1 32nd of an inch from the board. For example, as this board passes over the cutter head, it's going to remove material from the high spots of the board, creating a flat surface. Once you have completely flattened that surface, you can then apply it against the fence, running the board through the cutter again to create a 90 degree surface on the edge. Therefore, when you're setting up your fence, you want to make sure that it is exactly 90 degrees to your infeed and your outfeed table. As shown here, the standard setup for a planer is 90 degrees. The reason for this, when you're milling lumber, you want to create a board that has four perfectly 90 degree corners. As mentioned, the main purpose of a jointer is for flattening surfaces. In this example, this is a piece of rough sawn white oak. As you can see, this board has quite a twist to it. Also, this board does not have 90 degree corners, it's shaped more like a parallelogram. The board is also cupped. We will use the jointer to fix these imperfections. When operating a jointer, it is always a must to use push blocks or push sticks to move the material over the cutter heads. This will prevent your hands from slipping off the boards and going into the cutter heads. As you can see here, as it passes through the jointer, it takes the high spots off the boards. You want to repeat this process as many times necessary until the surface of the board is completely flat. One of the key rules of thumb is that you want to make sure you apply firm pressure to the board as it's entering the outfeed table to keep a nice flat surface through the cutter head. Most of this board has been planed down but there's still a low spot in the very center so we'll keep going through. You can usually tell by the sound of the machine that it's doing a solid cut when you have finally made the final pass as seen here. Now we want to work on the edge of the board. So we'll take the flattened surface that we just created, put it flat against the fence, and run it through the cutter head. 
as you can see, this edge is going to require a lot of work, so it'll probably take several passes through the cutter head. The first pass took barely any material off at all, so we'll keep going. At this point, we still have a few low spots, so we're going to want to keep running it through until we get a completely flat surface. Notice the sound the machine makes on this pass. It's creating a solid cut all the way through, indicating that that is our final pass, which it is. Now we can look at the 90 degree surfaces we made and check them to make sure they are accurate. With this little 90 degree square, you can see that our board is now a perfect 90 degree edge. This board can now be taken to the table saw to rip down to a desired width we want or taken to a thickness planer to be planed down to a desired thickness. So as you can see, we've taken this rough sawn board and created two perfectly flattened 90 degree surfaces out of it. We now have a completely flat surface instead of a twist. Thank you for watching.